everyone, hope you're all okay. So today's story is called Emergency Rescue. Let's see how many people can help us when we have an emergency. Can you think of any? Who can help us? Help! Emergency! If there is an emergency, who can you call? Here are some emergency services that you that can help you. So, can you see? Now, that is an ambulance. An ambulance can help you if you hurt yourself. And what's this? A coast yard, coast guard. Look at that. So, if you went out to the seaside and you got stuck in the sea, they can come and help you and rescue you. We all know who this is, don't we? A policeman and his car. And they would help, wouldn't they, Thing, if you needed any help? How about this one? Lots of you lot play with this toy, don't you? The fire service. Now, how would the fire service help you? You tell me. And what's this? Mountain rescue. Ooh, so if you got stuck in a mountain, they can help you, can't they? The fire service. Firefighters come to help when there is a fire. They get into their fire engine and rush to the fire. So here's their big fire engine and they have everything in the fire engine that they need to help put the fire out. You see, the fire... The firefighters put out the fire with water from their fire engine, look, and they have a big ladder so they can get to tall buildings, can you see? Firefighters can help. They can help with other things too, if there was an accident, if there was a car accident, they could help with their big tools in their fire engine to cut open the car. And how do the police help us? If there's an emergency or a crime, a police can help. Here, look, can you see? There has been a crime and the police are here to help the people. So look, this might be a robber who came to rob something out of this building. And the police comes to catch him and give back the things he's robbed from that person. That's not very good, is it? And the policeman will take him and put him in jail, won't he, for doing something that's wrong. Look out for trouble. The police have helicopters that help them look out for trouble too. So look, if the robber ran away and they needed to find him, they can tell the holy helicopter, the police helicopter, to go in the sky and look for him. Also, if there was an accident, the helicopter could see it from the sky and let the police know there's been an accident. Can you see a big truck that's fallen down? And they can help see lots of different things all from the sky and then let the police know on the ground so they can get there as quickly as possible to help. Now the ambulance service. When people are hurt in an accident, they call for an ambulance. The ambulance will rush and take them to hospital. Look, can you see? Because it's such a big ambulance van, they can put the person on a stretcher, which is like a big belt, and then they can put them in the big van, and with their siren, they can rush off and get them to the hospital as fast as they can. Look, this person fallen off his bike. So he must have hurt himself, and that's why they need to take him to the hospital to check that he's okay. And the ambulance has a siren, doesn't it? A big, loud siren. So it lets all the other cars know they've got an emergency. So they move out the way and they can get past so they can get to the hospital quickly. Now, did you know that even the ambulance service has helicopters too? Now, why would they need helicopters? If a person gets hurt and the hospital that they need to take the person to is a very long way the helicopter can take the person can you see 
in the helicopter to the hospital and it would be a lot faster than the ambulance. So that's why the ambulance service have helicopters too so they can get them to the hospital really quickly and fast. Now, if there was an emergency at the sea, if you are in trouble out in the sea, who can help you? The Coast Guard, we talked about that earlier, didn't we? Look, the Coast Guard has a boat. Look, can you see? And they rescue people who hurt themselves, who are trouble in sea. So look, can you see this fella? He must have fallen out of his boat and he's stuck in the water and the Coast Guard will come and help him and rescue him and get him back to land. So let's talk about boats and helicopters. Coast Guards have boats and helicopters to help people in trouble too. So look, they have a big boat which travels around in the water looking for anybody who's been hurt or who have fallen off board, overboard or if their boat, can you see this boat here? Look, it's been cracked and they would help them and rescue them. But sometimes they also need a helicopter because if they are stranded in the water and the boat can't get to them, then they can throw a big rope down from the helicopter and rescue them like this. So helicopters are really handy, aren't they? And also, look, the mountain rescue, they need helicopters too, don't they? Because when you're in a big mountain, it might be really hard to get a big car driving up the mountain so a helicopter can come and rescue anybody who got stuck in the mountain. That's quite an important job as well for helicopters, isn't it? So there are lots of different vehicles that help us in rescues, isn't there? So we have police cars, ambulances, we have the fire engine, we have the coast guard's boat and we have the helicopters and we have helicopters for all the emergency and rescue services don't we so they can help rescue everyone i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you again have a lovely day bye